guys welcome back okay so yeah this morning i am going to be chilling putting on some makeup the star of the show today is the new pinky rose this one is the luscious plum eyeshadow palette okay this baby is so pretty oh my goodness there is a mirror in here but y'all look at these colors oh my gosh this is so so pretty gorgeous we got a few shimmers in there to play with some beautiful mattes and it's just it's really pretty it just makes me feel like romance just it's gorgeous so right in time for valentine's day beautiful beautiful palette um this is what the packaging looks like those flowers are so pretty and i love kind of like the purple or what is it lilac type of coloring on the packaging now the box is uh you you know one of the unicartons that you slide it out of looks exactly like the palette so very very cute the back i think yeah the back is the same pretty much as well so if you don't want to keep that you don't have to but yeah it's a really really cute palette and i'm going to play in that today but it's early i gotta get my coffee in and as you can see from my mug i have not reached the nice kk yet <laughs> So if I get a little spunky this morning, you know why, okay? But I'm going to be down. I'm going to finish my coffee and I'll get there in a minute. Now, today, um, I wanted to just kind of come on completely blank face because I am, I got sent some skincare, you guys. Very, very cool. Beautylish uh, sent me some skincare to try out. And this is from Good Molecules. I know that they've been out around for a while and people have been trying out their products. So, I'm really excited to get to try them out because I love me some good skincare, okay? So they did send me a few items to try. Now this one, hold on, hold on. Okay. This one here is the Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. So this is what that looks like. Nice little um, dropper bottle. I have used this twice so far. I've been using these products for about a week. So I'm still in the process of trying them out, seeing how I like them and if they work for me. But <laughs> I've used this twice so far and this stuff, I really, really like it. Now with these overnight exfoliating treatments, some of them, at least the ones that I have used, feel like they're burning your face. <laughs> Yeah, they feel like they're burning your face some people don't like it some people can't handle it because you know it's not a comfortable feeling to put on your face before you go to bed now it doesn't continue to burn when i first put it on i could feel that burning that tingling and then you know after a minute or so it just goes away but i like it because you know it makes me feel like something's happening <laughs> and when I wake up in the morning, I mean, my skin is just so nice and smooth and refreshed. So I really, really like that so far. Now, I think the reason why I'm used to that burning feeling, that exfoliating overnight is because I was using the pharmacy a couple of times a week. It's the pharmacy, is it Honey Glow, Moon Glow? Hold on. Yeah, the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This is the resurfacing night serum. So it's kind of like the same type of situation where you put this on after you do all your cleansing and stuff at night. You put this on before you go to bed and let it do its work overnight to exfoliate and resurface your face. And that one burns. But this one, <laughs> the Good Molecules, it burns a little bit more. <laughs> So anyways, they also sent me this discoloration correcting serum. So this is what that looks like. And I just started using this as well. You guys know for my um, weekly shop, my stashes that I've been doing that I just started, I typically pick a serum. So I did stop using the serum that I was using just so I can try this whole collection out from Good Molecules. 
for a little while to see how I like it and if it works for me. So I'm using this um, color correcting serum and I'm really, really excited about trying this because, you know, as you guys see, I do have a lot of discoloration, you know, dark circles, marks and stuff on my face. I mean, around my mouth is the worst, but I don't know, you know, how well this works if it's just kind of like an overall evening, something that overall evens your skin tone or if it works on targeted areas so curious about that also they sent me this silicone free priming moisturizer so i've been using this as well as a priming moisturizer now occasionally i will use this just as a moisturizer as well as adding a separate primer because it depends on how i feel as far as if i feel like i need an extra primer but I really, really like the consistency in this of this and how it feels so far. So I'll give you guys an update. And lastly, they did send me this squalene facial oil. So this is what it looks like. Very cute little bottle. Um, I don't use this all the time. I only use facial oils when I feel like it, quite honestly, because it can be a bit much for me. This one is actually lightweight, very lightweight, and it does leave my skin feeling nice and soft and smooth. So I do like it. I'm just not that into facial oils that much. So, so those are the skincare items from Good Molecules that I am currently testing out, and I will give you guys an update on those in the future. I'm also going to go in this morning with this Perlis Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. So I got this in a monthly subscription box, of course, and this is just an eye serum. It says that it's supposed to intensely hydrate, firm, and brighten um, and, you know, decrease puffiness. So for me, my major issue with under my eyes is dark circles. As you can see, I really don't have that much you know luck <laughs> with eye cream so i kind of just side eye them to be honest with you but since i'm trying out the rest of these you know skincare products i said i'm gonna try this out too and see if i see any difference so that's what i'm gonna do right now throw on some brows and then we'll come back jump into this face and this eye look with this pinky rose palette okay and hopefully by then <laughs> i will have reached the bottom of my cup so I can be a sweet KK, okay? Okay, you guys. So, skincare is on. Eyebrows are on. And eyelids are prepped with my e.l.f. All Day Eyeshadow Primer. And I finished my coffee. <laughs> so, yes, I'm in a better mood. Now I'm ready to jump into this bright, bold, beautiful palette. Um... Yeah, definitely doing a cut crease today. So let's start out with this gorgeous purple shade here. You know what? Let me go ahead and swatch this palette right quick. Some of these shadows remind me of kind of like neon shades, like these two down here, and this purple is really bright, this one is really bright, so this is the whole palette swatched. Very, very pretty. Okay, so let's hope I can do this palette justice because it is gorgeous. I'm going to start out with this purple shade here in my crease, and I think I want to create like a nice gradient, so I'm going to go in with this shade here this shade here and then this shade here on the top Okay, so that color is Yes Girl, and as you can see, it is very nicely pigmented. I think I'm actually going to go into Tulips, because this shade is so, so pretty. So I'm going to go into Tulips and put that on top of Yes Girl. Nice, 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 nice. 
Oh, that's so pretty. The color story of this palette, you guys, is so, so gorgeous to me. You guys know I love pinks and purples. It's just so, so pretty. Okay, and on top of that, I want to go into this gorgeous bright shade here, which is called Sweet, and just put that on top of that pink. Oh, she pigmented. <laughs> I did not think she was going to be that pigmented. I don't know why, because all the other colors are mad pigmented, so... Yeah, this palette is not for the faint at heart. It is pigmented. Okay. I was thinking I was going to be able to just lightly fade that up into my brow bone, but <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to uh, use something, a skin tone powder just to kind of blend that up because that is really really pigmented i mean i'm not mad at it it's gorgeous but it is bright now if you like having bright bold colors that you know far up into your brow bone then by all means you can leave it like this but i'm going to go into my face powder and just use a small kind of pencil type brush and just kind of blend out right underneath my brow bone okay so that works so yeah if you ever feel like you went up a little bit too far or you just went a little too ham with your color towards your brow bone use some of your face powder to kind of you know just blend out that edge and tone it down a little bit so now i'm going to use my revolution cut crease canvas to cut a crease i'm going to try and do like a full half circle today okay so cut crease is on is very crooked don't judge me <laughs> okay who knew a rounded cut crease is that much harder than an elongated one who knew anywho um yeah so i'm going to go back into this purple shade here and put that on the outer portion of my cut crease next i want to try out this really pretty pink shade here that is called dream Okay, and so now I want to go back in with this super bright shade here, which is sweet, and put that right next to that pink. Okay, I don't know how I ended up with this kind of angular thing going on, but that's what we got today. <laughs> so, yeah, now I want to try out one of these shimmers. Oh, they're so, so pretty. So I think I'm going to go with this one here. And that one is Throne. And I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my cut crease. Okay, so let's try it dry first. Okay, she's pigmented. Very pretty. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like so far. And yes, it's taking some serious blending to get to this point. I'm going to go ahead, clean up, throw on some liner, finish my complexion, then we'll come back and finish up the lower lash line. Okay, so let's get into this lower lash line. I'm going to go in with one of my LA Girl pencils, one of the neon pencils. And I can't see the color, so I'll put it on the screen. But I'm going to use this on my lower lash line. Thank you. 
These LA Girl neon pencils are so bright <laughs> and colorful. Okay, just below that, I'm gonna go in with the purple shade here. And I haven't experienced a lot of fallout up till this point, but now that my complexion is done, I'm going to try and be careful. Yo, that pigmentation though, okay? Oh, so pretty. Now I just wanna go in with a little bit of sweet underneath that purple, just to kind of bring in that bright color as well, just a little bit under that purple. Hopefully I don't go overboard, okay? Okay, so there aren't any really like super light, super bright pigments or colors in this palette for me to use as an inner corner pop. This is the lightest shimmer and then this is the lightest matte. So those are the two, you know, kind of lightest colors in this palette and neither one of which will give me like a super bright pop like I want. So I'm going to find something to pop in my inner corner to give me the pop that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go into my e.l.f. This is a highlighter palette. It's the Glow, Gleam, and Beam palette. And I'm going to take this first shade here down at the bottom and use that as my inner corner pop. I'm going to see how I like it dry first. And then if it's not enough, I will go in and wet it. I just, you know, want to add that extra little pop. Okay, I think that's enough. I like that dry. So you guys know you can use like highlighter palettes and stuff for inner corner pops and different things. So you don't have to, even as eyeshadow, you know, you don't have to just use it for a highlight. Okay, so I went ahead and popped on some lashes. The lashes that I'm wearing today are the Ardell 3D Faux Mink Lashes. So this is what the box looks like. Now for lips today, I do want something a little bit dark and vampy. And I do want to try out this lipstick that I got. It was part of the Frida Kahlo collection from Ulta when they had her items or her um, collection on sale. So this is the color on that lipstick. And to line my lips, I'm gonna go in with one of these Shani pencils. I'm gonna use this color today. It's like, it, they're typically eye pencils, but I use them for my eyes or my lips. Don't matter to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And I got this in a set of, I don't know, it must have been about 40 or 50 different eyeliner slash lip liner pencils in a whole collection from Amazon. Very reasonably priced. And it's nice because they have like different colors in there to choose from. So I really like the color of this lipstick. It's a really pretty plum shade, as you can see. I think it goes well with this eye look and I'm tired of doing nudes, so this will be half today. <laughs> I'm gonna set my face with this sample of Cover Effects setting spray that I got when I ordered one of their, what was it, the highlighter and blush duo. So I kinda wanna finish this up. It's a cute little sample. Although this would be really good to save for travel, so I might go ahead and save this, but I'm gonna use it today, okay. So this is it, you guys, the eye look that I created with this Pinky Rose Luscious Plum eyeshadow palette. Of course, you guys know <laughs> I wouldn't be Colorful Camille if I didn't do a bright, colorful look. So I think that this palette worked out really great today. The colors are nice and vibrant, highly pigmented, and 
they blend together very very well i mean i would be careful going in with these shades because you guys saw they are really pigmented they do not play now if you're kind of thinking ah, i don't really want a palette or a pinky purple palette that's so bright there is this corner over here that i think would be great for someone who sometimes like bright colors and sometimes don't because you can definitely do gorgeous everyday looks from this right over here you have this nice um, transition shade. You have this beautiful light mauve tone. You have this darker mauve color that you can use in the crease or in the outer corner. You have this beautiful light shimmer here that is a very nice everyday shimmer. And if you want to add just a little bit of pink, you can use this. So it's definitely a palette where you have your nicer, softer, muted colors as well as your bright hello look at me <laughs> eyeshadow colors in it so yeah i think it's a very nice well-rounded pinky purple palette i'm not surprised that i like this palette because i do like pinky rose wasn't sure how it was going to perform in honey the pigmentation okay so very happy with it blends nicely and not hard to use at all i mean the colors really pop on that white cut crease canvas but also you see where i just used the elf eyeshadow primer the colors popped just as much so i think it's a great palette nicely pigmented and for 22 bucks you can't beat it you're looking for a new what valentine's day palette honey not too bad so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me to create this eye look if you enjoyed it please remember to hit like if you're liking your girl's content go ahead and subscribe okay <laughs> and i will see you on my next video toodles